Let's see which fraction is greater, one half or four fifths. And the way we do that, we need to find a common denominator, something that both two and five will go in evenly. If we have a common denominator, we just compare the numerators to figure out if one half is greater than four fifths or four fifths is greater than one half. To do that, why don't we multiply two times five? Two times five equals 10. And then down here, multiply five times two. Five times two, that equals 10. So now we have the same denominator. But we can't just multiply the denominator by five. We also have to multiply the numerator times five. That's because five over five, that's just one. So we're multiplying by one. We're not changing the value, just the way it's represented. One times five is five. And five tenths, that's the same thing as one half. They both equal the decimal 0.5. Then down here, we've multiplied five times two, so we also need to multiply the numerator by two over two, which is just one. So four times two is eight, we have eight tenths. Now we have the same denominator, we just compare the numerators. And eight, eight, that's bigger than five. So eight tenths, that's larger than five tenths, and four fifths, that's larger than one half, since these are equal here. So that's it, that's how you figure out which is greater, one half or four fifths? The answer, four fifths. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.